Good morning. Welcome to the FTS Bet Slip on Wednesday, the 18th of March. Um, yes, yeah, so horse racing bit the dust yesterday for um, five, six weeks. Uh, the Euros went, um, and the leagues are trying to commit to end by June the 30th. I've actually got a couple of people I know in the EFL, and they're actually quite confident that they can do that. Um, albeit probably behind closed doors if the government can keep this suppressed um, and I thought that was quite a positive new co news conference last night particularly you know Boris does bumble on doesn't he but from the medical guy um, you know everything is really just about taking the strain off the NHS you know suppressing it as they say pushing that curve down um, so they can cope with it and um, obviously I thought the Chancellor spoke really well um, just amazing, you know, the, the things that people pick, he said categorically, there will be other measures, this is the start of it, and people straight away jumping up and down, you know, it's caught these guys on the hop as much as anybody, What? how quickly this has escalated, you know, I, I was selling my tickets to Tottenham Man U to somebody just last Thursday, because um, I was couldn't go, or I committed to go to Dortmund, and I promised somebody the tickets, so I was doing that transfer just last Thursday, um, so here we are a week on how quickly things have changed you know last Thursday there was two people thinking of going to Tottenham Man U um, and when he spoke last night he said categorically this is the start of measures there will be others you know they, they are probably working 24-7 um, and I'm going to repeat myself a lot probably over the next few days weeks because the same things come up you know you've got to give these people time and trust and get it done but I think what they're saying is seeming to be right um, we can't hide from this it's just a matter of suppressing it um, you know hopefully as many people get as much financial help as as possible um, it will go away you know I, I'm quite confident that we will see some sport come June um, of some sort might be wrong but you know I think big open air things like golf may not but where they can play games of football you know who do you how many do you need you need 15, 16 foot fit footballers, four officials, a coaching staff, um, and probably a few TV crew and, and other people who, are, you know, medical staff may need to be in attendance. Um, you know, I'm sure they might be able to get some sort of schedule up. I might be being optimistic, but that's the way I like to look at it. Um, reading some positive signs on medical tests, a German company that Trump tried to allegedly uh, get hold of well I don't even think it's allegedly because they confirmed it to get exclusive vaccine they say they might be ready come the autumn um, and there's some medical tests in France that seem to be not curing it but suppressing the effect of it um, so you know these people are all working flat out um, I'm not quite buying into the Chinese weapons of mass destruction theory just yet um, but again that's that's the joys of social media for you but um, obviously getting questions re FTS right firstly nobody will lose out on anything um, obviously it's difficult times everything will be carried forward so if you've got a racing membership once it starts up your time will be added on uh, the guys at FDD are saying the same there is still some Turkish football Russia have cancelled today um, and and obviously ultimate etc will cons will carry on and whenever that starts then you know i won't look to start anything for next season until we finish this season whatever they decide and i do think they're they're all set on trying to finish the season um which whilst i joke about liverpool and things i do think that would be best um but i do think they've got to get it done by june i think the contract issue will be the stumbling block i think they deliberately stated that date yesterday because June the 30th when players go out of contract I just can't see how they could continue after that happens because you can't force players to sign contracts or stay at clubs they don't want to um, you can ask them but you're going to get some who say no I'm certain um, but yeah it's, you know I think it's very much this postponement of events is purely let's go to April and see what the government position is then um, so we're in for a, a sort of four or five weeks we'll all get used to it I'm still doing a bit of trading. I did Chile last night. Um, had a nice win there in the late game. Um, I've not gone into the Vietnamese league, but we are going to have a bit of Australian, a bit of Turkish. So um, Argentina, Chile, I don't know whether Chile's postponing now, but um, going on. Uh, I don't know how the Turks are still going, to be fair, but while they are, then they'll be traded. Um, 
Irish Racing is making a decision today. But um, yeah, you've got to sort of say right from April, really April, it's going to shut down. Um, I will trade what is there if the, if it qualifies for me, and that's that. Um, but everything else, I say, will be moved forward. The golf guru, everything will just extend all that for people. So don't fret there. Um, I am going to try and use this time to look at how we run FTS in general with sort of several um, ideas. One is to obviously maximise returns for you guys. Two is to reduce my workload because I do a load of things that I probably don't need to do manually. Um, and whilst Chris and things have been great and it is going to give me time to do some training so I'm going to do a couple of um, some free videos um, but I've had some requests and this isn't a jumping on the bandwagon it's just this time um, for sort of uh, people asking me quite a few times one to one stuff I did one a few years back probably didn't do it as I should have done and didn't do it right those guys you know are still in, still with me and and that's a separate thing, um, which they'll benefit from what we do now anyway. But just looking at actually doing an online sort of how I analyse data, how I go about setting everything up and actually making a profit at this game. Um, I don't want to do a load of work if it's not of interest of anybody, and it would be for serious punters. It's not something for the guys betting in fivers. It would be for serious people with serious banks. If that would be of interest to anybody... Um, and I would do it with one of my with Dave, who's one of my original one to ones, um, and he would he would do a lot of the sort of um, I don't want to use the phrase holding to account, but accountability sort of checking you're on track and stuff like that. Where I would provide the sort of betting analysis and betting help, he would then help you with the other areas of keeping you on track. So we've sort of talked about whether we talked about this for next year, but obviously now we've got downtime. We would got time that we could build a full online sort of setup it would all be done by webinars and um, you know a lot of recorded information um, using the tools I use so if that's something that interests anybody then email me uh, it is only an interest only stage it's not something I'm saying I'm going to do it's just um, looking at I'm going to look at the whole FTS setup so if anybody's got a half decent bank you know looking over a couple of years to turn this into a full-time income that's what they want to do um, and pretty much be self-sufficient standing on their own two feet let me know and then I can talk to Dave and we can look at uh, one if there's enough interest and then how we structure it and put it together and build that um, as an online part of the website so it's purely just asking for interest at the minute whether that's something that um, people are interested in if not then don't worry about it don't uh, don't uh, bother and, and I think I, it would be football first because that's my main source and then if, if that went well and people are interested in racing then down the line I'll do some racing but I'm going to do a couple of free videos um, you know for the members area on the racing and the football while we've got some downtime anyway so I'm just showing you some ideas of how I use stuff um, which will help everybody um, you know you've, you've it isn't whilst it's carnage I think you've just got to look to right what can I use this time for it is all going to come back um, you know, you tend to find through history when we've had dark periods, be it the Black Plague or the Spanish Flu or World Wars, um, the world's actually ended up being a better place after it and a bit more positive place, and that's one of my great hopes. Um, I think two things are going to happen with uh, people being stuck at home. You're going to see a, a boom in births from sort of November through to February next year. Uh, and the divorce rate's probably going to go up, isn't it? I think people stuck at home with uh, their wives for or husbands, um, either way, um, is going to uh, put some strains on some people. But just remember, try and be nice. This isn't. This has been forced on everybody. Um, whilst Trump is trying to blame the Chinese at the minute, there's no one to blame. Um, we'll just do what we can and plug through. But um, yeah, for me, over the sort of coming weeks, I'll just be doing some videos, showing some stuff, um, trading when I can, what's there. Um, and I will stay in touch. I'm not sure that I will, whilst I say do a pod every day, because I'm not sure there's going to be that much to cover every day, as much as you all love to speak to me or hear me. You're not speaking to me, I'm speaking to you. Um, but we'll just see that I can knuckle into these videos and get some stuff done. Um, and then when it's sort of safe to do so, meet people. Um, I was going to go up and see Chris and 
do some videos and things but we'll just put all that on hold for the minute until uh, we can travel about and see what the game is um, as I say that guy last night he said it's sort of suppress it early and then over time look to leave, lift those restrictions and see what the effect is um, you know you've got to listen to what they say and it's just purely at the minute everything is about getting the NHS sorted and hopefully the financial packages that they're announcing um, keep as many people in the game as as possible um, but um, yeah as I say can't keep saying it's strange old times um, and most of all stay safe I've no idea what's going to happen with the Irish racing but if it does continue um, I will of course send out uh, any stuff I get I do as some of you have seen over the time get tips on Irish racing and I will send that out and if there are any football trades that I spot you know Turkey etc um, then certainly they'll be on the podcast um, and whatever but uh, you know I, I think it's just almost got to treat it a bit like a summer holiday get through it and then uh, it'll all start up and what a, when it does start up we're going to be in for an absolute bonanza because there's going to obviously be all the stuff that's postponed um, to come so you know there are there are there's always positives um, and you have two ways of looking at things you can beat yourself up or sort of right roll my sleeves up what can I use this time effectively for um, and certainly from my end I can get a lot more I've always struggled to do the tuition um, I was talking to Dave about it yesterday I said because I'm trading myself so I'm clicking everywhere it's different you know when you see these people who make videos I always wonder a lot with apps actually bet because it's all so polished and this that and the other and they do it with 10 pound stakes um, you know I'm I'm like flipping Bobby bad fingers clicking the mouse from one screen to another scores spreadsheets bet fair um, across three screens so I, I don't really get time you know Friday to Monday I'm trying to make money and then Tuesday Wednesday Thursday there's not enough on for me to do it but now I can actually make some proper structured videos whilst there may not be football match and I can do the the data analysis and that side of it um, and then introduce the football side when we've got some games to trade and if there's games in Turkey that at the minute do qualify because it'll only be one or two I would have time to do that but as I say just ideas at the minute just things I'm thinking about to fill the coming weeks and and get get you guys um, on track for when it all comes back only if it's something you're interested in um, as I say just drop me if that's something that does seriously interest you and I, I stress it would be for serious people then drop me a line anyway I'm just waffling and repeating myself now to fill time have a lovely um, what is it Wednesday we're going to lose track of time aren't we we're going to lose track of days with this um, my, my routine is sort of so set on Friday Tuesday Friday Tuesday that you forget where you are I'm particularly not having to do any racing at 11 o'clock today um, but yes, yeah, stay safe and um, any queries, drop me an email and I will get back to them over this coming week. Um, I've got some bits to do today and then we've got to probably get some more shopping sometime because all the delivery slots are booked. Um, so I am uh, I did get one for Thursday from Waitrose but couldn't get all we needed so I might have to pop out. Um, social distancing with my arms out I don't know my arms would stretch four feet to be fair to keep away from people um, but as I say stay safe most importantly and this all will pass in time